Business Brain, the show for entrepreneurs, episode 435 for Wednesday, March 29th, 2023. Greetings, folks, and welcome to Business Brain, the show for entrepreneurs where really it's for anybody. But we are entrepreneurs. And what we've found is that when we take our business brains, that way of looking at things and apply it to all kinds of things in our lives, our businesses, our personal lives, whatever it might be, you get a better perspective, a different perspective, a good perspective. So that's what we do here at businessbrain.show. Sponsors for this episode include Notion, which now has added Notion AI that lets you skip to the good part because it's going to do the hard work of creating your brainstorms and your rough drafts for you. You can try it for free visiting notion.com slash business brain. We'll talk more in depth about that in a little bit for now here in Durham, New Hampshire, happily still here in Durham, New Hampshire. <laughs> uh, I'm Dave Hamilton. And out uh, still out in Lafayette, California, we have wet, windy uh, weather patterns again, which is awesome, but I'm about ready for this to be over. Uh, but uh, I'm happy to be here. <laughs> and you are Shannon Jean. <laughs> I am Shannon Jean. Yeah. I forgot I'm just that. happy same, not same to be situation. traveling anywhere. It's I, like yeah, I had a, yeah. an entire good. week where I didn't, like I, I, I was just a quote unquote normal schedule. I don't know what normal is anymore, but you know, like. It was nice to, I, I, it's been very productive. That's good. That's good. That's awesome. Yeah. 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 Hey, I, I want to share stories with you and, All get, right. and maybe, maybe uh, dig deeper into it. Cause it kind of, it, it got my hackles up and uh, it started uh -oh. kind of innocuous, but yeah. So I, I'm going to keep it anonymous uh, to protect sure. the innocent and all that stuff. Or, or the guilty. So I, yeah. <laughs> yeah. The guilty, whatever. So I was out, we were, I was, we were out to lunch with some friends this weekend and one of the, uh, people is a woman who's very successful high powered salesperson yep um you know very very successful 100% commission by her by her choice yep uh so she has a much higher you know opportunity there yeah and she said yeah you know it's really weird uh company that that she had uh, or that she worked works for got purchased i guess about a year or so ago so they're dealing with a bunch of changes and different things and on I guess Thursday or Friday, the one of the one of the new owners, a privately held company, I guess, but part of a much bigger company. Um, one of the new owners uh, sent an email and said, "Hey, we're going to hold everybody's commission checks until the third of April because we have a bank meeting and we want to." Uh, how do you phrase it? Let me I'd be careful. How I, I'm going to paraphrase, of course, but it doesn't really matter. You don't know them anyway. No, but, uh, yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. It, 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 in, a, in essence, we're having this meeting. Sales are down. The economy's, you know, in yeah. an interesting Sales spot. are down. That's correct. Sales are down. Across so the board we want, with many things. Yes. Yes. We want to show a bigger bank balance oh. to keep the bank happy. And I went, rawr, rawr, rawr. you know, I had these like alerts went off into my, in what? my head. And I was like, Hey, I said, um, that's, that's really problematic. Not only, I mean, there's a bunch of things to unpack about how you would alert if you would do this first and foremost, ethically, is this an ethical thing to do? Or are you committing some sort of fraud? I, I, I'd love to talk about it. And secondly, if it's not, if it's like, okay, that kind of stuff happens, yada, yada, yada. How do you go about doing it other than emailing your employees 48 hours before they're about to get paid uh, and pushing them out for a week? So it, I, I really would like to to take a dive into this and see if I'm wrong or if it's something worth, uh, <laughs> if I'm right. Oh, that sound means I get to tell you about our sponsor. Our sponsor today is Notion AI. Notion by itself, is this amazing engine that combines your notes and your docs into one space that's simple, collaborative, beautifully designed, and now, thanks to AI, more powerful than ever, Notion AI helps you work faster, write better, and think bigger doing tasks that normally take you hours in just seconds. And this is because you can now leverage the power of AI right inside of Notion across all your notes and docs without the need 
to jump between whatever you're working on and some separate AI powered tool. Notion AI, it lets you skip to the good part. You get to save time and write faster by letting Notion AI handle those brainstorms of the first draft or to take your messy notes into something polished, which is something I have really become enamored with doing. It's amazing. I just like throw together thoughts and then say, make this sound better. Break it up into, you know, three paragraphs or whatever I want it to do. It's going to make it sound better. Heck, I can make it. Give me my notes in iambic pentameter. I don't know if that's going to be relevant for your use case, but this is the kind of thing that you can do. You just tell Notion AI what to do. The more details, the better. And you just go in, select text, click Ask AI, and boom, increase your productivity like never before. And for a limited time, try Notion AI for free when you go to Notion.com slash business brain. That's all lowercase letters, Notion.com slash business brain to try out the incredible power of Notion AI today. And when you use our link, you're supporting our show. We appreciate that. That's good for you. That's good for us. This is a limited time offer. Try Notion AI for free right now at notion.com slash business brain. And our thanks to Notion and Notion AI for sponsoring this episode. All right. So, uh, holy ethical yeah. gymnastics, Batman. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Like, yeah. Okay, but this is fascinating because we had a. Com I do I do several podcasts, and one of them is for musicians. It's called Gig Gab, and we had a conversation last night about ethics, and and we titled the episode "Ethical Gymnastics." And boy, if I hadn't used that title yesterday, it might be the right title for this episode. Like it might even yeah. be a better title for this episode. Like it was, but it wasn't a wrong one for the Gig no. Gab. It, it, like I, this is so, crazy. I, I, it is crazy. So now uh, I get the idea of, oh, you know, we want to show good bank balances. If yes. You know, meeting with the bank. I mean, but, I get that. But don't you like the bank's going to see that you played a game with them. If they pay close attention, which yeah. banks often do. I mean, the you're bank. not the yeah. first business owner, not you, but, you know, I'm speaking yes. to this person who I, I don't know either. Like Shannon, Shannon is the only one here that knows who this actually is. So I'm. No, I don't I'm know the business you. owner. I oh, know somebody that works, yeah, works well, you, for Yeah, you them, know what so, the company yeah. is. I have no yeah, idea. Yeah, but yeah, yeah, but yeah, you, yeah. sir, business owner, like, you're not the first one to think about fudging the the cash yeah. flow. I don't want to say fudging the numbers because they're not actually fudging the numbers. No. They're just fudging the, flow, the cash right. flow. Uh, yeah. And it, this is something that most business owners do uh, if you run on a cash basis might do at the end of the fiscal year to sure. massage things and make sure you, that you get as close to a break even as you can. So like this is a thing and, and within reason or the other way you spend a bunch or, of money right. at the end of the fiscal year. So you can you lower can your take, tax a, take a loss. Yeah. If, if you've yeah, got, if you've got gains yeah. somewhere else, right? Yeah, exactly. Yeah. 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 And, yeah. and all of that it, with, within reason is perfectly acceptable. This is, I, I mean, I, I don't, I fraud. like, <laughs> <laughs> it it feels at best, yeah, it might be yeah. bank fraud. I don't it know. It feels like it to me. If the because I guess you'd ask yourself, if you were on the phone or you were in a room with the bankers and you explained what you were going to do, would they make a different decision? And I would have to argue that, wow, you know, if you're playing these kinds of games, I maybe that this is the red flag, but there's other stuff going on as yeah. well. Yeah. Well, right. that's the it's, thing is like, yeah. so first of all, it's how would the bankers feel if they knew everything that was going on? Right. Okay. Yeah. okay fine. I, like yep. that's one question to answer. And I think I, to take a minute, uh, a minute more on that, I think you are a hundred percent right. If the bankers knew what was going on, they would probably worry about you yes. more than they would if they if if they just saw the natural cash flow that would have normally happened. Yeah, and you could, you could explain, explain that. that, right? You yeah. could say, "Hey, look, right. just take we a just look." Paid a ton of commissions. Yeah, a week ago, cash yeah. flow. Yeah. You know, our cash balance was X. You can see today that it's you know X minus yeah. a large sum, and that's because we just paid commissions. And got it right. Like, I think that's a better way to handle it. So that's how the bank would feel. That's an ethical way to handle it. And perhaps legal, so. perhaps but legally. Legal. Right. I don't know. I'm not uh, an attorney, but no. if you are feedback at 
businessbrain.show. Tell us if we are, uh, if it's much ado about nothing and this kind of stuff happens all the time and banks don't care or tell us if, oh, wow, this is a, a big problem and, you know, you should but, watch out. But to me, the even bigger problem is how does your, how do your employees feel? And we already oh, know I, that. I can tell you. Yep. I, yeah. Yep. Like, so, so like this woman explained this scenario to you, what, I have some predictions about what you're about to say, but what was her feeling on this? Well, it made her uh, feel concerned about the company as a whole. Yep. It made her <laughs> feel not as uh, uh, confident in the company as a whole and in leadership of the company that would think it was okay to just send out a, a a random email. Now these are like high paying folks. I mean, this is a, these are big commissions. Like this yeah. is big municipality stuff, 30,000, $50,000 a month. These sure. People are getting sure. So, uh, and it, she, she, you know, commented, well, who are they to assume that you're not going to be in some problem? Maybe you're, you have some huge bill that's due on the first and you're not going to be, or you did something based on the fact that, Oh, I know my commission. I, I know I get my it check. On the, yep. And now I'm going to be, you know, 72 hours late or something like that. And it, uh, yeah. So there's the ethical and legal question, which I think is crazy. And it really made me feel itchy. Uh, <laughs> and I, itchy I, is the I, right I, word. Yeah. It, man. Yeah. And I said, wow, uh, you know, not only is this problematic, and I think it may be bank fraud, it it makes me wonder what else they're doing that they're not telling anybody about. Uh, and and then you could break it down. Okay, how if let's say you had to, or you felt compelled to do something like that. Yes. Um, I how mean, there's do times, you approach it? Yeah, there's times when you yes. have to do those sorts of things. I to, get it. To yep. me. Messing with my employees' cash flow is oh, the last thing I ever want to do. It, but it, it has happened. I've been there. I don't yep. like it. I, 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 I think I was only ever there once, um, and and it, I hated it so much that it stuck with me. Like I, I'm pretty sure I've, it's yeah. never happened again. I think I would remember. I, it. I had it once too, and I feel once. the same way. It was with it was with a partner. We recently yep. merged with another company, and. It was at a time when people were getting checks, actually paper checks, and the accounting department just, oh, we just didn't get them out in time. Mm -hmm. And I, I hit the ceiling saying, that's, you got, that's unacceptable. It can never happen. Right. You, you know, if you don't want to pay somebody, don't pay me. But this, uh, these kinds of things. Um, oh, always. I, I don't pay myself first. Of course. Right. right? Yeah, like, yeah. It, it, when it comes um, to employees, you have to pay them first. And if you are in a scenario, and I've been there, where I have to pay myself first, then I let an employee go. I eat it that way. It's yeah. like, okay, look, if you're if it's that bad that you have to pay yourself and there's not enough money to continue paying the pay the employee for what you owe them, absolutely. Yes. yes. And let them go so that you don't keep owing them money and and then yeah. deal with the 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 fallout from that. So yeah, I, I, I had to play games once. I did not like it. Like you, yeah. it was with a partner where I didn't have full control. Like it wasn't uh, entirely made, my decision. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, and I hated it. Uh, and and it I, sounds like we've only, bo both of us have only made that mistake once, right? Yeah. And, and didn't we just do a show about not relying on just one bank? Didn't we just talk about yeah. having multiple banks? Yeah, we did. Uh, because... Perhaps if you had another bank and you had a credit line or something else, there you could be, you could bridge this. There are different ways to do this. Oh, that's true. Pay that, your employees from the other bank. Yeah, of course. That yeah. are ethically take the money out of your own bank account personally and loan it to your company Fund to it. pay the employees. Yep. Fund it yourself. Even that and though then, starts to become yeah, ethically that's questionable. That's true. You got to be careful. Yeah, yeah it, but yeah, at least the, it's better to your employees. Like I, there, yeah, there are yeah. two there are separate two, prob there separate is, but related there is. problems here. Yeah. Let us know how it's, you feel, folks. I, I I'd love to uh, feedback at businessbrain.show. We want yeah, please to please tell uh, us. Yeah, yeah. And is it bank fraud? Like I'm. That's just curiosity. Dude. Thankfully, I'm not asking that. I am asking that oh. for a, a a guy I don't know. Oh, Definitely not for me. Yeah. It's crazy. <laughs>
Oh, that was the intro of the show I played. I played the wrong yeah, thing. Play it out again. I'm go playing ahead. it again. Play the outro. Do it. There we go. There we I hit the wrong awesome. button. I was so excited about this topic. Thanks for hanging out with us, folks. As we said, feedback at businessbrain.show. And listen, if your email is featured in an episode, then you're entered to win a MacBook Air in 2023. So let us know what you think and uh, keep living that charmed life, huh? We'll see you next time. <laughs>